This is what we're going to work on today. How to throw something without using any computer effects. Coming right up. Brickology! Hey everybody, it's Thomas from Brickology, where we help you bring bricks to life so you can tell your story. When I first started doing stop motion videos, I was very inexperienced with programs like Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, or After Effects. And so everything I shot had to be in camera, meaning that whatever the camera saw, that's what ended up in the real video. And one thing I've always wanted to be able to do was to make a minifigure jump, throw, or fall or something. And without the masking effect that these programs offer, I was stumped on how to do it. Until I came across this one simple technique that I'm about to show you. It requires a little bit of planning and some creativity, but once you see the final product and once you see the steps that I actually take, it's pretty simple. Now, if this is your first time here at Brickology, please consider subscribing. Every Tuesday, I post tutorials on some aspect of LEGO Stop Motion. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and be a part of this awesome community. All right, let's get started. These are all the pieces that I need. I have the two guys. I have the little dynamite, and this really could be anything. I just chose the dynamite because it's red and it really shows up with this white background. And I have a stick. You can use a toothpick, the paper clip, you know, straighten it out. Anything that's really thin that is strong enough to hold this up, but also thin enough to be uh, hidden by this dynamite. And you'll see what I mean. And actually, one last thing, you need some tacky putty. Putty. Now, this could be the blue tack stuff. This, this stuff I got at Michael's. It's this, instant tacky and it works great. You can keep reusing this over and over and over again. It's, it is a godsend for stop motion. Okay, this next part, I'm gonna show you what to do with these three things. I'm gonna attach a little piece of the putty to one end of the stick, and that part is gonna go onto the dynamite, like so. And then I'm gonna take another part this might need to be a bigger piece, depending how heavy your object is. And there we go. That's what we're looking at right now. Now we're looking in Dragon Frame. I take what I've made there, and it's going to, whoops, one end will stick onto the wall, and the other end will appear to be floating. Now the idea is to make it so that you cannot see the stick or the tacky putty on the wall. So seeing in frame, you can see that right now it looks like it's floating. There is a shadow here. I realize there is a shadow here that you can see on the wall of the stick. That's why I'm saying use something very thin, something that, you know, a uh, wire works great. A um, paper clip, you, un, you know, undo a paper clip and you use that. That works great because it minimizes the shadow or it could be just the lighting. I have a light overhead right here. You can see my hand, the shadow right there. So that is making that shadow right there. Now you want a shadow, at least for me, I want the shadow of the object because that makes it all more realistic. Um, but it could be a matter of lighting, play with your lighting. But this is the idea. So then right here, if I take a picture, and then the next move would be I move it however I want to move it and just make sure that the stick and everything stays out of the frame. And then I move it again and I'll twirl it every single time so that it looks like the little stick of dynamite is twirling. Now if it goes up higher, then of course I need to adjust the stick behind it. I can't just angle it because then you will see the sticks. You see, if I make the, make the dynamite go higher, well, you can see the stick. So I have to make sure every single frame, the stick is unseen from what the camera sees. And, you know, sometimes it'll take a little while, but the end result is throwing something. And I don't know where this thing's going to go. Let's just do this really quickly so you get the idea. And then I will take some time and do another one so you can see the final product. 
Now let's see what this looks like. Okay, there we go. Now it's floating and being thrown. All right, so I've been working on this and let me show you what I got. This is just kind of thrown together. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh. Let me show you frame by frame. So Emmett catches it, but here, that's where he releases it. So you see the little shadow behind and then you can see it still going, still going. And every time I made sure that the thing is not there, the stick is not there. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh. Now the great thing about this technique is that not only will it work on small objects like the little dynamite or weapons, it will also work with minifigures as well. Say you want the minifigure to jump or fly up or even fall down from a building. Use the same concept, you just need to find something strong enough to hold up the weight of the minifigure. And that instant tacky stuff that I'm using, well get some, you'll find a lot of uses for that if you do stop motion. In the comments below, link me to videos that you've made using this technique, or if you have another method of doing this, I would love to see what you're doing. All right, every Tuesday, I will bring you another tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and don't miss a video. I will see you in the next one. Have a great week.